God, I love garden machinery. I'm never happier than when I'm out strimming, savaging a hedge or chopping down a tree somewhere. In fact, my habit has become a bit of a problem in our family because each time we move house, I set about turning the garden into something that looks a bit more like the Serengeti Plain. And each time I run out of trees to chop down, we have to move house again. The only reason we haven't had to move house more than once every four weeks or so is one thing, and that's the length of time it takes me to sharpen the blade of my chainsaw. All my chainsawing life, I've used one of these, a file to sharpen the blade. And that's a bit of a problem because chainsaw teeth are set at 45 degrees to each other. A bit like mine were as a child, actually. Half of the blades are relatively easy to sharpen. You just hold the chainsaw between your legs whilst you file away. But the other half, unless you're left-handed, they're really difficult to be able to file. You really need a workbench and a vice. Luckily, as I was in the chainsaw shop the other day, as I so often am, I came across this little gadget. It's an electric chainsaw sharpener. Try saying that after a drink or two. Anyway, it's called the Oregon Shaw Sharp and it cost £35. So now, instead of it taking me a matter of months to sharpen the chainsaw, it takes just a few minutes. And it's so much easier. When I want to do the opposing blades, I just turn the chainsaw around. There we go. And do the ones facing the other way. I've already chopped down most of the trees in my garden, so for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to have to uh, get rid of what remains of my children's swing. So let's get that in there. And. Ah, well, while I'm here, There we go. If you know anybody with uh, a garden with a few trees to chop down, uh, do share this video with them. Otherwise, till the next time, I've been Arlo Guthrie. Bye bye.